Hello everyone, you are welcome to solve this nice exponential equation here, which is 9 to the power of x times 27 to the power of x. This is equal to 36. So what is the value of x? Now let's provide a solution from here. Now we can express 9 to the power of x as 3 to the power of 2, then raised to the power of x, multiplying by 27 to the power of x, which we can express as 3 to the power of 3 raised to the power of x, this is equal to 36. Now 3 to the power of 2 raised to the power of x, and 3 to the power of 3 to the power of x, this is in the form of a to the power of n, raised to the power of m, which we can express as a to the power of n times m. Applying this exponent property, then here we have 3 to the power of 2 times x, this is 2x, times 3 to the power of 3 times x, which is 3x, this is equal to 36. The next step is that 3 to the power of 2x times 3 to the power of 3x, this is in the form of a to the power of n times a to the power of m, which we can express as a to the power of n plus m. Applying this exponent property, then we have 3 to the power of 2x, plus 3x, this is equal to 36. Now this means that we have 3 to the power of 2x plus 3x, this is 5x, this is equal to 36. To solve for x here, we introduce logarithm on both sides, so that we have rho 3 to the power of 5x, this is equal to rho 36. Now, rog 3 to the power of 5x, this is in the form of rog a to the power of n, which we can express as n rog a. Now applying this power rule property from here, now applying this power rule property from here, we have that rog 3 to the power of 5x becomes 5x rog 3. This is equal to rog 36. Now let's divide both signs by rog 3, and also here we have rog 3. So let's simplify rog 3 and rog 3 here, so that now we have 5x, this is equal to, now this is rog 36, divided by rog 3. Now we can express 36, this is the same thing as 9 multiplied by 4. Now let's substitute 9 times 4 here, so that we have 5x, this is equal to, this is rog 9 multiplied by 4, everything here divided by row 3. And we have that row 9 times 4, this is in the form of row a times b, which we can express as row a plus row b. Now applying this logarithm property, we have here 5x, this is equal to row 9 divided by row 3 plus rog 4 divided by rog 3. Now the next step is that we can express 9, this is the same thing as 3 to the power of 2, and we can express 4, this is the same thing as 2 to the power of 2. Substituting this, we have 5x, this is equal to rog 3 to the power of 2 divided by rog 3, then plus, we have rog 2 to the power of 2, then divided by rog 3. Now, the next step is that applying the power rule property here, rog 3 to the power of 2 becomes, in this case, this can be expressed as 2, rog 3, divided by rog 3, then plus, rog 2 to the power of 2 becomes 2, rog 2, divided by rog 3, so that now the next step is to simplify rog 3 and rog 3 here, so that we have 5x, this is equal to 2, plus here we have 2, rog 2, divided by rog 3. Now, the next step is to divide both signs by 5, so that now we have x is equal to, now we have 2 over 5 here, plus 2, over 5. This is rog 2 over rog 3. We have rog 2 divided by rog 3. 
Now we have that rock 2 over rock 3. This is in the form of rock A divided by rock B, which we can express as rock A to base B. Now let's apply this logarithm property from here. Now let's apply this logarithm property so that now x is equal to, we have 2 over 5 plus 2 over 5. This is rock 2 to base 3. And since 2 over 5 is common here, we can factor out 2 over 5. So that now into the parentheses we have 1 plus, this is rock 2 to base 3. Now this is the value of x. This is the value of x. And the next step from here is to verify that this value of x satisfies the equation. So let's verify from here. So we have 9 to the power of x times 27 to the power of x. This should give us a value of 36. Now we express 9 as 3 to the power of 2 raised to the power of x times 3 to the power of 3 this to the power of x, this is equal to 36. Now this is the same thing as 3 to the power of 2x times 3 to the power of 3x, this is equal to 36. So this is the same thing as 3 to the power of 2x plus 3x, this is 5x, and this is supposed to give us a value of 36. Now let's substitute the value of x here. So that we have 3 to the power of 5 multiplied by x. x here is 2 over 5. Into the parentheses, we have 1 plus rock 2 to base 3. This should give us a value of 36. Now, 5 and 5 here simplifies. So that we have 3 to the power of 2 times 1. This is 2. Then plus 2 times rock 2 to base 3. This is the same thing as 2 rock 2 to base 3. This is supposed to give us a value of 36. Now we have that 2 is a power here, so we can express this as 3 to the power of 2 plus this is rock 2 to the power of 2 to base 3. This is supposed to give us a value of 36. Now we have that 3 to the power of 2 plus rock 2 to the power of 2 to base 3. This is in the form of a to the power of n plus m, which we can express as a to the power of n times a to the power of m. Now applying this exponent property, then we have 3 to the power of 2 times 3 to the power of rock 2 to the power of 2 to base 3. This is supposed to give us a value of 36. Now, 3 squared, this is the same thing as 9, times 3 to the power of rock 2 to the power of 2 to base 3. This is in the form of a to the power of rock b to base a, which we can express as b. Now, applying this property, then we have 3 to the power of rock 2 to the power of 2 to base 3. This is equal to 2 to the power of 2, which is 4. Now, let's substitute this 4 back to the equation here. Now, we'll have 9 times 4. This should give us a value of 36. And it's clear that 9 times 4, this is 36, which is equal to 36. And this implies that the left add side is equal to the right add side. And this implies that the value of x here, which is equal to 2 over 5 into the parentheses, 1 plus rock 2 to base 3, actually satisfies the equation. So can you follow the steps? Like this video and please subscribe so that you can get notified whenever we upload new videos. See you in the next video.